Well, that's right. Literally one of those stories where people are lucky to be alive. It was yesterday morning from one of the third floor balconies there that gunfire broke out. Fortunately, the gunman didn't hit anybody. He fired several rounds, doing damage to some vehicles and some buildings here. Again, people lucky that they escaped being seriously wounded or killed. Cleaning up the street outside the gunman's building is one thing. Cleaning up crime, much more complicated. I think about it like today, and I'm like, wow. 23 year old actress Julie Beth Gonzalez never imagined this welcome to Hollywood when she recently moved here from the Bronx. It was the man living next door to her yesterday morning, 7 30, who started shooting from his third floor balcony. Fortunately, no one hit. Then he threw the contents of his apartment out onto the street. And perhaps in a desperate attempt to escape, he then hacked a hole in the wall between his and Gonzalez's apartment. She heard that happening and ran out. I see that hole and it like terrifies me because the back of my bed has a slash on it. So he was coming from where my bed was and right behind from my bed, so he could have broken my headboard, and it was right here, right over my head. Today, the suspect ID'd as 42-year-old Joseph De La Cruz, a felon taken into custody on a gun charge, being held on $320,000 bail. Neighbors say he'd been terrorizing them for a month with guns and a machete. People here used to hearing about violent crime. Typically, though, it's at night. On a Sunday morning, no. To me, it's not necessarily about a, a lack of safety. You know, we have a definitely um, a lack of, uh, I feel like, resources for the community in the area for mental health uh, issues. You know, this individual um, clearly was suffering from some sort of uh, a breakdown. Cameron Niles would agree with that. My own personal point of view is that, uh, you know, mental health is not supported enough in this state. Niles grew up in Hollywood, moved away. The crime and the safety needs to be addressed. He's back visiting. We spoke on the Walk of Fame, a block from the shooting site. Hollywood has lost its glitz and glamour. It's gone downhill. The suspect, De La Cruz, being held on more than $300,000 bail, booked on the charge of felon in possession of a gun. Not clear what criminal past he's had. That's something police will not divulge at this point, nor will they say if they know what set him off yesterday morning. Uh, we're awaiting the DA to consider filing charges against him. Meantime, what a story from that young woman who lived next door to that apartment. Talk about being lucky. Live in Hollywood, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News. I had no idea you were going there on that story. My goodness, that footage yeah. too. Wow. Being there with the bed, the whole yes. thing. All right, Phil, thank you.